That's not a gold nugget. Dear Tim and Moby, how can you tell one mineral from another? From Rachel. Minerals have physical properties that let you tell them apart. There he is. I can pick Moby out of a crowd because he has certain physical traits that make him different from everybody else. For one thing, he's orange, and he's got that lost look on his face. Bring me a piece of quartz, Moby. Well, Moby, color is usually the first indication of what type of mineral you're dealing with. Quartz crystals are milky white like these, but they also look a lot like calcite, and some of that is in there too. Moby needs to look at some other mineral properties. Ow! Hardness measures how easily a mineral can be scratched. You can scratch graphite with your fingernail, but the only thing that'll scratch a diamond is another diamond. The Mohs scale is a table that ranks the hardness of minerals. The mystery mineral scratched my fingernail all right, but my fingernail only registers at 2.5 on the Mohs scale. Calcite measures 3 and quartz is 7, so let's see what this steel file, which is a 6.5, does. Quartz scratches steel, calcite doesn't. This is looking like a piece of quartz so far. Let's check out its luster. Luster tells you how light reflects off of a mineral's surface. Minerals like pyrite and gold have a metallic luster. They're really shiny. Our mineral is kind of pearly looking. Streak is the mineral's color when it's powdered. Lots of minerals can be easily identified using the streak test. Hmm, it's pretty hard to see much there. Minerals that break along a smooth, flat surface have cleavage. Minerals that break like ours did, with rough, jagged edges, have fracture. Quartz is a mineral with fracture, so I'm about 99% sure that that's what we're dealing with. But there are always a few more tests to perform. Oh, that settles it. Calcite would fizz when hydrochloric acid touched it. Yeah, I like identifying minerals too. So, start a rock collection. Ow! Maybe you shouldn't be keeping these in the living room.